What is up, you guys? It's your girl, Sharonae, back with another YouTube video. And today, I'm going to tell you guys a story time. And this is a little bit funny story time, kind of. I've only done, like, two to three story times on this YouTube channel ever. And I thought I would do another story time. Because, why not? So this is about the time a girl tried to poison me, sis. Poison me. And a lot of, let me just get into the video because I feel like this video, uh, mm. so I was in the seventh grade. Yeah, I was a little young thing. I'm still a little young thing and a small thing. Basically, I was in seventh grade and I had gone to two different schools in seventh grade. So for the first half of seventh grade from like September to like October-ish, November-ish, I was at this one school and there's a story time about that school, but that's another time. And then, from no October-ish, November-ish, to the rest of the year, I went to the second middle school. So, I'm going to call the second middle school S Middle School. Okay. So, S Middle School was a middle school I had moved to. And I had moved to this school because I had gone to this boys and girls club at my other school but they closed at a certain time and they would charge my mom because she couldn't get there on time because she would get off later than when they closed. So she decided to move me to another school. So then I would be able to get on. Uh, so I would be able to go to the Boys and Girls Club. She would be able to get on time and like they wouldn't be charging her or wondering where she was at. Because they would be like, is it everything okay at home? Like why? Like they would be like that. Like why is your mom not here on time? Stuff like that. And my mom was like, you know what? I don't want you to have to be waiting. And plus that school that I went to, the first middle school, plus if, if I wanted to not go to the boys and girls club, I would have to walk home by myself after school every day, and I would be home by myself in seventh grade until like five or six. Basically, I'd just be the only person in the house, and like, I tried that for like the first week, and I was super paranoid. It didn't go well. So like, basically, my mom ended up moving me to schools. So at S Middle School, um, I had gone there and there was, I had my friend, I had knew a friend there. And this friend and me had known each other for a long time, so we called each other cousins. Basically, I met her friend group, you know, I met a lot of people there. I was like, okay, this school's pretty good, met some new friends, great. But there's this one girl in the friend group who like, she like, okay, me and her, like, we never really had an issue, but she was, like, not well-liked in the friend group because she was always doing something, like, causing a lot of conversation in the friend group, basically. She just did a lot of stuff that a lot of people didn't like. But me being me, I was still respectful, still nice, because, like, I didn't have an issue with her. She didn't do anything to me. But I was still very cautious because I knew that I wasn't trying to get tied up into anything. So... Me and my cousin and my friend, so friend, this friend, I'm going to name this friend Amy. So me, my cousin, and Amy were at the Boys and Girls Club after school one day. And I had happened to bring water to school. I bring water to school quite often because I do not like school water fountains. I really think they're really gross. I mean, I'll drink if I have to, but I really don't want to. So this particular day, I had brought a water bottle. It was in my backpack. So we're sitting at the Boys and Girls Club, and um, we're all, me, my cousin, and Amy are all joking around, laughing, kiki and a caw caw, whatever, laughing it up, like having a great time, nobody's mad at each other, no drama, no nothing. So we're all laughing, and then me and my cousin, we go to the other side of the Boys and Girls Club, and we're just like joking around and laughing, and then Amy is sitting at the other side of the Boys and Girls Club, like we're on two different sides and she's doing her own thing so I'm like okay whatever so I'm playing around I'm starting to get hot so I take my hoodie off and I'm like I need some water like sis need some water like I'm parched like <laughs> let me quench my thirst so I go on my backpack unzip my backpack open it and I go to drink the water and I open the water bottle and I like have it up to my lips like it's best to go down and this girl, Rosie, she's like, stop, don't drink that water. And I'm like, sis, come on, I'm thirsty. What do you mean don't drink the water? And she's like, Amy put hand sanitizer in your water, and she was going to let you drink it.
So I so I go to my cousin and I'm like, hey look, Amy just put some some hand sanitizer in my water, and she was about to let me drink it. Like look at this water, and let, let me not say it was one squirt or two squirts, it was globs, and I did not even smell it. Like I didn't smell the hand sanitizer. I was like it was in my mouth and I spit it out. Good thing. So my cousin's like, oh no. So we have a little friend group and they're like, we're like, um, I think Amy tried to poison me. Basically, we end up going to confront Amy. I know this is kind of like confrontational, like, Serena, you're trying to start drama, but when you try to poison me and you, I don't know, just no. So, me and my cousin go up to Amy and I tap on Amy and my cousin goes, so, you put water in my cousin's drink and she lifts up the water bottle and Amy's face, I kid you not, went all white, like gray. Her face was like, like, yeah, you got caught. You got caught. So it's me, my cousin are standing in the front, and our group friends are just looking like, like we, they're just trying to see something go down, basically. So then, my cousin is like, you don't ever put nothing in her water. Like she could have drank that. She could have went to the hospital. You would have been, if she would have died, I would have missed you up. You know all that stuff. And Amy was like crying, and she did. Oh, she always did this thing where she went, <gasps> like she would hard cry, like. Sis, it was like a cue for her. So we were used to her hard cry. She was like, oh my gosh, I've been a lot. Um, and I just did it because I thought it would be funny. I just want to see what would happen if you drank all of it. Sis. So, I go up to the Boys and Girls Club, like instructor, teachers, whatever, and I take my water bowl and I say, hey, look, Amy put hand sanitizer in my water and I could have, like, got food. I could have, like, got sick from this. Like, whatever, whatever. So one of the teachers that were there was, like, well, it's a guy. He, I'm going to name him Johnny. Johnny was, like, you couldn't have got sick from drinking hand sanitizer. How do you not get sick from drinking hand sanitizer? Literally on the back, doesn't it say do not keep out of reach of children if this swallowed call like poison control? Anyways, so the girl teacher comes around and she's like, oh no, we are not going to have this. Because she knew if my mom would have found out, she would have had a lawsuit on her hands if I would have drank that. So, basically, she's like, Amy, come here. She takes Amy in the hallway and she's talking to her. And all you hear is Amy's loud cry. And she's like, ah, ah. Da -da 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 -da. So then she calls me, my cousin, now. And she's like, Serenity, cousin, come out. And I go up and I'm like, hey, look, Amy, like, why would you do that? Like, what did I even do to you? Like, we are supposed to be friends. She's like, you don't know me. Like, I'm going through a lot. And basically, I just wanted to see what happened if you drank the drink or whatever. And then Amy <clears throat> was like, I'm really sorry. Like, please don't call my mom. Like, my mom finds out that I've been in trouble again. Like, she was has this whole sob story about how she gets in trouble again. Her mom's like, she's going to be in trouble. She's going to take her phone, basically all that. So then the teacher, I'm going to name her Julie, Miss Julie. Miss Julie was like, well, you can't do that. You can't put, you can't put hand sanitizer in people's drinks, honey. I'm sorry. So we're going to have to call your mom. Because we can't have a lawsuit on our hands, you know. Basically, basically that's what she said. Basically, she's trying to say we can't let we can't sue the boys and girls club. So no. So Miss Julie calls her mom. She's like, she's like, um, hello, ma'am. Um, <laughs> ew. She's like, hello, is this Amy's mom? And I guess her mom said yeah or whatever. She's like, well, we kind of have a situation here at the boys and girls club. Amy and another girl kind of got in a confrontation because Amy put hand sanitizer in another little girl's water here, and we're just gonna have to have you pick her up. She will be suspended from the Boys and Girls Club for about a week. Click. I don't know what her mom said, but Miss Julie's face was like, Amy, your mom's on her way. But in other words, she was like, Amy, your mom's about to come here and beat your mother. You know, she was about to beat you up. Basically. So then. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. So then. Amy's like crying and she's like, I'm so sorry. Like, please, like, book me to my car and tell my mom everything's okay. Like, I was 
like, no, sis, I'm not doing that. Because you try to poison me. Like, if you would have hit me something different, okay, that would have been a whole other story. But that's what my body and me and my mom don't play about that. So, then, so her mom comes in her car, picks Amy up, and as we're walking to the other school to go to a different boys and girls club. Okay, let me explain that part. Hold up. So there was two boys and girls clubs, and this is how it went. The boys and girls club in my school, and then we had to walk to another boys and girls club, so then it would, so we could all be with our, like, where our mom went, to the pickup spot, basically, where our parents would pick us up. Let me just rephrase that. Okay. So as we're walking, I see her mom, and they're driving away, and her mom is yelling at her. Like, I don't know what her mom said. I did not hear nothing. I did not. All I saw was her mom and her talking and Amy crying. So basically. Coming. Okay. Okay. So basically, Amy got in trouble with her mom. And she ended up coming back to the Boys and Girls Club and, you know, started some more stuff. But that's another story time for another thing. And she came back to school and she was basically like, I didn't get in trouble. My mom wasn't even mad. Sis, your mom was yelling at you. Like, let's just be real. All right. So, thank you for watching Story Time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to hit the post notifications down below so you can see this face every week. Sorry to my horn, but toot, toot. If you know who you are and you know who the Story Time is about, please don't comment it down below. This was not meant to shade, hate, or send any hate or anything towards this person. I didn't say the person's name. And, um... Yeah, I didn't, this wasn't meant to be, like, shady towards a person, because later in the year, we ended up, like, being cordial and nice to each other, so it wasn't anything crazy like that. This is just a video, so please don't come damning me or commenting, like, why did you make a story time? Because I don't know you like that. I don't even, I, like, I don't talk to you. I haven't seen you since seventh grade, so let's just keep it cordial. Hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!